Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and welcome to a um, vlog type video where I am inviting you into the real raw quiet time that I have. If you catch the last video, then you know that I have created a huge problem and that problem is spending too much time on my phone. There has been a lot of excuses. Um, there's been a lot of time to being stuck up in the house because of sickness or weather or car issues, you know, all those things kind of make you sit still. But in me sitting still, I have not taken advantage of being still. I have been scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I've been trying to get my channels together. I have been trying to feed my own soul, but I get distracted very easily. And unfortunately, my peak uh, screen time was almost eight hours and that's entirely too long. And it's an average, so it's not. It wasn't one particular day; like it was a cluster of days, seven days. And I'm ashamed, and I'm embarrassed, and I'm a little upset with myself because, obviously, if I'm spending more time just scrolling, I was spending less time reading God's word, praying, and all that stuff. Now, I must say that I, page like that, I am. I went about it the wrong way. Like I went to some of my old Bibles and I pulled them out and I tried to go in and get inspired and they worked a little bit. I tried to recreate my space. They all the wrong things, like literally everything but just sitting still. Um, I have been writing out prayers more, but I've been reading my Bible less. I have also in corporate praise and worship, but I kind of get distracted with it too. So it's like I'm beating myself up, but I'm also asking God, please help me to know what is me, what is my thing, which I know that my thing is reading, but I want balance. So I need to figure that out too, because worship is a weapon. Prayer is a weapon, not just reading and knowing your word. So I'm going to um, dive into here and then I'm come back on camera and show you and tell you about what, what time has passed and how much I got done. So, see you in a little bit. I keep looking here because I don't flip my phone, but see you in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I am back. It is 7.02. Um, I started this video a little bit before four and all I've got done is this. This is the uh, Mr. Pen Christian Planner. You know, it gives you the scripture and then it gives you prompts. And then you got a little to-do list, which I failed to use to its advantage. Okay, so, and I read that verse in here. I made notes and now I'm about to jump into another devotion called the word for you today and that scripture was Galatians 6 and something can't remember I left it in there but anywho what has happened um fed Bella mopped the floor um did some more cleaning uh clean the table like literally how my mind works is if I walk past an issue, then my mind tells me to fix it right then. So then I forget what I was doing or I don't pay attention to. But another big thing I had to do, which was mandatory um, at some point, not necessarily today, but I'm like, I keep looking at the paper. Let me go ahead and do it before I forget it. And that's my WIC appointment online. So I did that and it was re like lessons required, like watching videos. <clears throat> So sessions were like 30 minutes. Um, I did 
one and a half. I didn't finish one yet. But um, I responded to some of you guys' comments. I texted a few people. So I did get on my phone. But I tried my best not to, like, watch a video or anything like that. But I still feel kind of iffy about how I feel towards that. Like, just put your phone down. Like, you don't need it. Like, focus on this. This is more important. But it is really hard. And I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like, oh, it's just so easy. Just turn your phone upside down. No, 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 no. Because my phone is actually on silent, I believe. And it's still a distraction. I know y'all hear my kids, but vlogging results to this. Random, turn it on the camera. You can hear everybody talking. So I apologize. But um, I'm going to get back into this. And then I'm going to update you guys. Hopefully it'll be a little more quieter. I might be in a different location too. I don't know. Because I was at the kitchen table actually. I ended up going in there because I was doing so much involving the kitchen. Stay at home mom, homemaker. So still got those jobs to do. But um, I was able to not really concentrate like that, even though I went back to my New Living Translation Bible. It's almost like once I go through a Bible, I don't really care for it anymore like that. Like it's not my go-to anymore. Like once I already declare another Bible, my Bible for a year, my mind just can't go back into another one. Like I've tried on several occasions. Now I do admit going back and looking does encourage me like hey you was pretty involved in your bible but <clears throat> excuse me for the most part i keep thinking about the bible that i should be in if that makes sense like go to that and use that so maybe i should try to do that now um and see how fast or slow um things happen so stay tuned i'm gonna update you guys maybe two more times um it's seven i usually gonna be like one or two lately anyway so stay tuned my kids <laughs>
highlight in here, Galatians. And make some notes here, Galatians 5 and 13, which read, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy yourself with nature. Instead, use your freedom, freedom to serve one another in love. So, pretty much saying... Your freedom in Christ isn't for you to just go around standing and doing all these things, breaking all the rules. Like, you're here to serve. You're here to love your neighbor. Use your freedom to do good is the thing right now. All right, so. They do notes for this one, which I showed y'all earlier, and the other one. Hold on. That scripture. I decided to break out of that because that kind of too vague for me. So... This one, I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see. I get used to this camera angle. That was for the faith planner scripture. That was First Timothy, um, which I ended up going, no, that's not that. That was something else I was reading. My little paper I printed out, learn to be content. And then how love is expressed. That's the... Um, word for you today this is my little notes here I know it's light, I know you can hardly see it but anyway, it is now 8.38 I'm not going to really call it quits, but I am going to stop filming because I don't see myself doing anything too drastic from this point if it does happen, then I will come back on, but do I think I took advantage of the time I have? No I am going to sit in the living room amongst the kids because I don't want to be completely too isolated because, you know, kids need to talk to you and see you. So, I don't want to be like that. So, I just sit amongst them and I read my Bible and stuff and engage with them. And honestly, I probably put both of these Bibles up and get another Bible, which is definitely a hindrance for me, like just going back and forth. But mainly because I think the pressure to use this new Bible, Bible, and not to sit on the shelf has done something to me. So I've been writing in here and doing little bits and pieces there. I'm like, mm, I didn't even want to do that. I, it just felt forced. It didn't feel authentic. And then, of course, with this Bible, like I said, my mindset was I'm finished. I'm done, which I'm not really. I still got plenty of space in here. But that was just pretty much my mindset. And then I got a new one. So get a new Bible will make you not be as grateful for the previous one or focus on that one anymore i've done that a thousand and one times and it sucks and reason that's the reason why also i said man i can't buy no more because if i buy one another one's gonna get ignored and they're just gonna sit there but anyway hopefully i can talk to you guys later if not love you bye